Hey everybody, it's Carrie from the Rapid City Public Library, your friendly neighborhood makerspace librarian, back with another science short. And today we are going to be looking at potential energy and kinetic energy. We're going to be looking at things that um, store potential energy until they explode with kinetic energy. Let's take a look. So we've got some craft sticks and no glue, no tape. We are going to sort of bend them together to make these kind of throwing star shapes. Now the normal state of being for a craft stick is just straight and flat, but we're going to stretch the wood fiber into a new shape. We're going to make it flex into a new shape. Keeping in mind, it wants to go back to that old shape, to that normal shape. So when I do this sort of under the green, over the yellow, and then under the red, we're bending it out of its normal shape. And we're, it's doing that with tension. And the more we weave them together, the more tension is stored. And that stored energy is potential energy. So you can see we've got it so the tension is holding that whole thing together without glue or anything. And when we are going to toss it against a wall, basically, it's going to release that potential energy in a lot of motion, and that's kinetic energy. We'll see it again here, breaking apart. Craft sticks are fun. I think we can try it with something even larger. We've got these paint sticks. So again, those are all laid on top of each other, and this third one is going to go under, over the middle, and then under that other edge, and the tension is going to hold the whole thing together. That tension, that potential energy, gets released when it hits the wall. There we go. And I think we can take this one step further. Instead of just weaving four sticks together, we are going to weave together enough sticks all the way across this table. The more sticks we weave together, the more tension we're storing in this very long ladder that we're building. The more tension that's stored, the more potential energy, which means when we let it go, the more explosive the reaction is going to be as all of these craft sticks flex and try to return back to their normal straight state of being. Here we go. which is delightful. <laughs> Thank you for following along. I hope that was enjoyable for you. And I hope we'll see you back next week for another science short.